Hello students, under conic sections as we have already discussed about circles, hyperbola and parabola in this session we will discuss about ellipse. We have studied that an ellipse is a particular case of the conic ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 when abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square is not equal to 0 and h square is less than ab. The analytical definition of an ellipse is as follows. An ellipse is the locus of a point in a plane which moves in the plane in such a way that the ratio of its distance from a fixed point called focus in the same plane to its distance from a fixed straight line called directrix is always constant which is always less than unity. The constant ratio is generally denoted by E and is known as the eccentricity of the ellipse. If S is the focus, ZZ dash is the directrix and P is any point on the ellipse. Then by definition, SP upon PM is equal to E. On cross multiplying, we have SP is equal to E into PM. Let us solve an example. Find the equation of the ellipse whose focus is 1 comma 0, the directrix is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and eccentricity is equal to 1 upon square root 2. Look into the solution. Let s 1 comma 0 be the focus and z z dash be the directrix. Let p x y be any point on the ellipse and p m be perpendicular from p on the directrix. Then by definition s p is equal to e into p m where e is equal to 1 upon square root 2. On squaring s p square is equal to e square into p m square. Using distance formula we can write this as x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to 1 upon square root 2 whole square that is equal to x plus y plus 1 upon square root of 1 plus 1 whole square. That gives us 4x square plus 4y square minus 8x plus 4 is equal to x square plus y square plus 1 into 1 plus 2xy plus 2x plus 2y. That gives us 3x square plus 3y square minus 2xy minus 10x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the required ellipse. As we can see in the figure here, we have point P x y and s as 1 comma 0 and we can also see z z dash as the directrix for x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and we have drawn P m perpendicular to z z dash. Now, we shall discuss about equation of the ellipse in standard form that is x square plus 1 upon a square divided by y square plus 1 upon b square is equal to 1. This is the standard equation of the ellipse. Note that we have e less than 1 therefore 1 minus e square is less than 1 and a square into 1 minus e square is less than a square and b square is always less than a square. Let us see the tracing of the ellipse. We have x square plus 1 upon a square upon y square plus 1 upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b. Take this as equation number 1, y is equal to plus or minus b upon a into a square minus x square. Take this as equation number 2 and x is equal to plus or minus a upon b into root of b square minus y square 
as equation number 3. In order to trace the ellipse of first equation, we observe the following points. For the symmetry, for every value of x, there are equal and opposite values of y. Similarly, for every value of y, there are equal and opposite values of x. Thus, the curve is symmetric about both the axes. For the origin, the curve does not pass through the origin. For the intersection with the axis, the curve meets x axis at y is equal to 0. So, by putting y is equal to 0 in equation number 3, we get x is equal to plus or minus a. So, the curve meets x axis at a that is a comma 0 and a dash at minus a comma 0. Putting x is equal to 0 in second equation, we get y is equal to plus or minus b. So, the curve meets y axis at b that is 0 comma b and b dash 0 comma minus b. For the region, we see if x is greater than a or x is less than minus a from second equation, we get imaginary values of y. Therefore, there is no part of the curve to the right of a or to the left of a dash. If y is greater than b or y is less than minus b from third equation, we get imaginary values of x. Therefore, there is no part of the curve above b point that is 0 comma b or below b dash 0 comma minus b. From second equation, we find that at x is equal to 0, y is equal to plus or minus b and as x increases, the values of y decrease and y is equal to 0 at x is equal to a. Therefore, the curve is a closed curve. With the help of the above facts and by joining some convenient points on the ellipse, the general shape of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 is as shown in the figure. Here we can see in the figure the axis x dash and x similarly y and y dash. We can also see the points here a and a dash, b and b dash and the figure of the ellipse. Now we shall discuss about second focus and second directrix of the ellipse. In figure of an ellipse, let p x y be a point on the curve. Then as discussed, we have x square upon a square plus y square upon a square into 1 minus e square is equal to 1. Take this as equation number 1, where C a is equal to C a dash is equal to a and e is the eccentricity of the ellipse and the point s and the line z k are the focus and directrix respectively. Let s dash and k dash be points on the x axis on the side of C which is opposite to the side of S such that C S dash is equal to A E and C K dash is equal to A upon E. Let Z dash K dash be perpendicular to C K dash and P M dash perpendicular to Z dash K dash as shown in the figure. Join P and S dash. Clearly, p m dash is equal to n k dash that is equal to x plus a upon c. Now, in equation 1, we can write this as x square into 1 minus e square plus y square is equal to a square into 1 minus e square, which can be simplified as x square plus y square plus a square e square is equal to a square plus e square into x square, which on simplification gives us x square plus 2 e a x plus a square e square plus y square is equal to a square plus 2 e a x plus e square x square, which can be solved as x plus a e whole square plus y square 
is equal to a plus e x whole square that can be expressed as x plus a e whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to e square into x plus a upon e whole square that is x dash p square is equal to e square into p m dash square that gives us s dash p is equal to e into p m dash distance of p from s dash is equal to e into distance of p from z dash k dash we can see in the figure here we have got points a a dash b and b dash and c is in the center here we are also having a fixed point p here x comma y and we can see the points n and p dash also l s and l dash which is meeting at s that is a e comma 0 hence we would have obtained the same curve had we started with s dash as focus and z dash k dash as directrix this shows that the ellipse has a second focus s dash that is minus a e comma 0 and the second directrix x is equal to minus a upon e now let us discuss about the vertices major and minor axis foci directrices and center for the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b we have the following definitions of some terms vertices the points a and a dash in figure where the curves meet the line joining the foci s and s dash are called the vertices of the ellipse the coordinates of a and a dash are a comma 0 and minus a comma 0 respectively major and minor axis in figure the distance is a a dash is equal to 2 a and b b dash is equal to 2 b are called the major and minor axis of the ellipse since e is less than 1 and b square is equal to a square into 1 minus e square therefore a is greater than b 2a is greater than 2b and a a dash is greater than b b dash foci in figure the points s that is a e comma 0 and s dash minus a e comma 0 are the foci of the ellipse directrices z k and z dash k dash are two directrices of the ellipse and their equations are x is equal to a upon e and x is equal to minus a upon e respectively center since the center of a conic section is a point which bisects every chord passing through it in case of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 every chord passing through c is bisected at c that is 0 comma 0 therefore c is the center of the ellipse in figure and it is the midpoint of a a dash eccentricity for the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 we have b square is equal to a square into 1 minus e square so e square can be written as 1 minus b square upon a square that is e square is equal to 1 minus 4 b square upon 4 a square therefore e square is equal to 1 minus 2 b upon 2 a whole square thus e is equal to square root of 1 minus minor axis upon major axis whole square so students today we discussed about ellipse and some of its definitions related to it in the coming session 
we shall again look into some more definitions and solve some more examples. Thank you. Thank you.